You give it a shot. Why not? You're staying in. Vacuum Wave going to do 10 to our Umbreon. They're minus 2. We're plus 2 in special defense. It's a hot chance we survive. Hopefully they go after Golduck here or something. Let's go another Icy win. How much is it doing? Doing 11. And how much is Make Your Rain doing here? Come on. Umbreon, hang on. Gold, gold Duck, die out, please. That's insane. We survived. Dark Pool lands the Goldango. Picks up the one hit KO. Oh, baby. What's going on, guys? Cisco here. Back with some more VGC Dove Battles. And today, we've got a simple Umbreon with stored power alongside a simple Beam Gold Duck. How do we come up with this? I have no clue, but this is going to be amazing. Now, Simple Beam is a move that gives a Pokemon the ability Simple, which double the effect of stat changes. So, for example, a plus two from Sorzans actually becomes a plus four. And we're going to be pairing this up with weakest policy, Calm Mind Umbreon with Stored Power. Stored Power is a unique move that does damage based on how many stat boosts that Pokemon has had. And the equation is as follows. 20 times the number of stat boosts plus 20. And that will give you the base damage of Stored Power for that specific like turn or Pokemon or whatever it is. So, with Simple being on Umbreon, all these stat boosts it will receive, it will be able to get Stored Power to a really high value and do an insane amount of damage. Now, let's speak play by play here. Turn 1, we Calm Mind with Umbreon and Simple Beam onto Umbreon with Golduck. Since Golduck is faster, Umbreon will receive Simple as his ability before that Calm Mind, meaning that that Calm Mind will get it a plus 2 in Special Attack and Special Defense. And then for some reason, Golduck learns Vacuum Wave. So we can side Vacuum Wave onto the Umbreon, activating the Weakness Policy, which will be a plus 4 in Attack and plus 4 in Special Attack, putting Umbreon at a plus 4 Attack, plus 6 Special Attack, and a plus 2 Special Defense. That is absolutely insane. Boosted through the roof. Now, with these stat boosts, Stored Power will have a base power of 260. 260 Stored Power damage, just without considering anything else. And remember, we're at plus 6 Umbreon in Special Attack, so this should absolutely destroy anything that it can hit for neutral damage, and the only Pokemon that could probably survive this are obviously your Dark Types, who are immune to Psychic type moves, and maybe our Shadow with like the Assault Vest. The only Pokemon I think, honestly, could that could survive this base 260 <laughs> store power from the Umbreon. Um, and we also have the Psychic Terror on it to further boost store power if we want to. Uh, we also have Dark Pulse on the Umbreon just in case that store power isn't the right move to go for. I was considering going Fighting Terra Terra Blast, but that means I would have to change my Terra type on the Umbreon. So we're just going to go Dark Pulse for some nice stab damage here. Now, after those two turns, Golduck, if it's still alive, obviously, um, can actually go for Psych Up, which will copy all these stat changes from the Umbreon and get that plus four in attack and allow it to go for Liquidation at plus four in attack, which should be able to do some pretty decent damage. But that's obviously if Golduck is alive. I mean, it's got Stitcher's Berry to be able to survive for at least the two turns that we need that we needed to survive. And it's also got Cloud Nine, which is actually very beneficial as it's going to get rid of any weather, uh, like the, the effects of weather. So Sunny Day, rain, uh, the Rain Team, Sand Teams, all that stuff going to be gone thanks to cloud nine gold duck now we also have comfy on this team with draining kiss just in case that the gold duck strat doesn't actually work and with uh comfy on the team we can still activate that weakness policy on Orbeon, giving it a plus two in special attack and special and sorry plus two in special attack and plus two in attack and then have Umbreon still go crazy with stored power because we'll be sitting at four uh stat boost so it would be uh base 100 damage because it'd be 20 times four which is 80 plus 20 at 100 and then we could either for, uh, further boost that with Calm Mind Boost. So, Comfy and Umbreon could be another way of getting this team to work, allowing Umbreon to go for some really good damage with Stored Power and Dark Pulse. Um, at the same time, Comfy here for the continuous HP with Floor Healing on that Umbreon, which Umbreon is a really, really tanky Pokemon. Getting those uh, plus one or plus twos in special defense. We also have Intimidate on this team to make it strong physically. So, it's going to be really hard to get rid of uh, Umbreon and just give it a Floor Healing. Things back to full HP, and we're sitting in a really good position. As for the rest of the squad, we've got Garchomp, Blaze, Form Tauros, and the Rillaboom, all for coverage for the Intimidate and for the Grassy Terrain HP recovery. I'm not going to go too much into those and what their purposes are, but it's going to be a really strong Pokemon to help closing some of these games out. Uh, one big issue for this team is going to be Haze. So if we see a Murkrow, we see a Dragonite, whatever, Primarina, all those Pokemon that can learn Haze, we got to be very, very careful of that because we can set up my Armbion to all those stat boosts, but then one haste just makes my Umbreon useless. So we gotta be very, very careful with how we play this game. Um, if we see, um, for example, a 
Murkrow, I think maybe we don't lead Umbreon and Golduck. We go down the Garchomp line and try to get rid of the Murkrow first and then allow my Umbreon to get going crazy at the end of the match. So I think that's what the play is going to be if we see like a Haze Murkrow. So that is the squad. It's all about stored power Umbreon and putting in absolute work with this evolution. So let's get right into these battles with simple stored power Umbreon and try to get some dubs. All right, we got a battle against Kendo here and they've got one dark type that can resist the stored power. No, two actually, two. That's I forgot to see the Alolamook there. Um, now the Alolamook could copy that... Um, an ability here that could be pretty useful for them but i think i'm just gonna go Umbreon and quackers here i think it's pretty safe they have two clear body pokemon which i really don't love two two old pokemon that can't get intimidated here but i do like the taros i think right hmm. intimidate could do pretty good on two just well just good on three of them right I think I'll go into this. I don't think I'm going to need the Comfy here. I don't think I'm going to need the Comfy. I think we can do enough damage with um, Umbreon before it goes down. And then we can just come in and sweep with Garchomp and Taurus at the end. I really like that. I really like that. All right, let's go. Come on. Let's focus up. Let's get to it. Let's get this Umbreon doing an insane amount of damage today. I'm excited. I'm excited for these battles here. Stored power, base 260 damage. It's going to be disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And it's a pretty simple strat to, to work. It, is, it does take two turns. But Umbreon is tanky enough where it could survive those two turns. For sure. Alright, let's get to it. going to be Talonflame and Metagross. Okay. Okay. I like what I see. I like what I see. And then we go Calm Mind and Simple Beam right away. I don't see why not. They could be going for a Taunt here, but I don't see them going for a Taunt. They could have Taunt. Don't have Taunt. If you have Taunt, I'm just, you're just going to make me sad. Regardless, if they have that Taunt, I mean, the only thing we don't get up is this Calm Mind. Which they don't. They don't have Taunt. So they're going to Tailwind up. Uh, they're going to let Metagross go first. What is Metagross going for? EQ. It's not going to do enough damage here. Yeah, it does absolutely no damage. So Simple Beam flies onto our Umbreon. Screw the inner focus. We're simple now. <laughs> we're simple, baby. And we're going to call my boost. So I think this turn, I just want to go for maybe a Dark Pulse into the Metagross and look to delete it. Or do I want to go Stored Power into Talonflame and delete that? No, I think Dark Pulse into the Metagross looks pretty good. And just getting the vacuum wave on. On Umbreon. Yep, let's do that. Let's just get our Umbreon boosted through the roof, baby. And they were throwing talent flame. That's actually really nice. Gonna be a muck. Ooh, okay, they're gonna get clear body from. From the Metagross here. Which is okay. Vacuum wave doing 10 damage, which is absolutely perfect there. Activating our weakness policy on our simple Umbreon, drastically boosting our attack and our special attack, baby. Oh, let's go. Ice Punch is going to fly. That's doing no damage. No freeze. Dark Pulse is going to fly into the Metagross. Everybody wave bye-bye to Metagross. One hit KO, baby. Plus six, a, plus six special attack, no attack. And they're going to get clear body, which to me doesn't really matter. Now... The Muck is going to be pretty dangerous here. Drag pull. The Muck is going to be pretty scary here. Let's just psych up here. Stored power into the Dragon Pull and psych up. I'm not too worried about the muck. I'm gonna U-turn. That does damage. What's the muck going for? Are they going for damage here too? Toxic. That's 
a little toxic if I do say so myself. <laughs> we have no turns with Umbreon after this. But we are going to psych up whatever stat changes the, uh, the Umbreon had. Golduck is not sitting pretty nice here. Stored Power is going to find the Town Flame. We are picking up that one hit KO, baby. Let's go. So it's two KOs for our little Umbreon here. Really, really nice stuff. But Umbreon's going to go down here, right? No, oh, we survive. We still have one turn if, we, if we'd like. If we'd like. Dragon Dart. They either go Dragon Darts or they don't. I mean, if they go Dragon Darts, it's fine. We're just going to let... Umbreon go down here. We're gonna go for that, and then we're just gonna go for a liquidation into you. Yeah, so ripping some damage into this muck. Of course, we protect. Look at the Phantom Force. Okay. So Umbreon's gonna die out here to the Toxic. A little annoying. I'm assuming the Phantom Force is going into Gold Duck. See, I went Peter's out though. Honestly, yeah, I, I don't mind this. I'm gonna go Garchomp here. They're they're sitting like a hopeless duck with Dragon Pole after this turn. Phantom Force should not KO my Garchomp. So I'm just going to rip Outrage into... Ooh, but Outrage doesn't go into specifically someone. I'm just going to rip Outrage. I'm going to rip Outrage, and then I'm going to go into a Liquidation into the Mux slot here. Yeah, they go Phantom Force into Gold Duck. Gold Duck hangs on on six, baby. Let's go. We're going to eat up our Citrus Berry. Gold Duck is a beast. We're plus four attacks. So this Liquidation actually might hurt if we're able to get it off. Outrage flies first. On to the perfect target, Dragapult. Bye bye. Told you, Dragapult was sitting like a hopeless duck. It could not do anything. Got the Phantom Force off. Gold Duck ate it up like a champ. Gold Duck is outspeeding, going for that liquidation onto the muck. How much damage are we doing? Ooh, ooh, baby, Gold Duck. Please. Please. They're going to protect this turn. They're going to protect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Protect the way. Let's screw this alone in luck, bro. I don't think they... I don't think they have enough juice in this. They don't have enough juice to, to win this game. It's a 3v1. I mean, they are minimizing, which could be pretty scary. But my boy Gold Duck got me. He's going to land the liquidation. Watch. You see for yourself. Garchomp doesn't get ducks. So that's really good. Garchomp does not get ducks. So we go Outrage again. And we liquidation. And that should be GG's. Garchomp got me. Lands the outrage. Picks up the KO mug. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Our restored power symbol Umbreon doing some massive work. And Golduck as well, baby. GG's. Right, we've got a Sun team here. And my boy Golduck is going to take care of it. Uh, no haste Pokemon to my knowledge here. So I just really like the Quackers and Umbreon lead. Also, by the way, leave a like for Quackers. Is just, isn't it just adorable? Quackers for Golduck? absolutely adorable <laughs> so we're gonna leave these two here um i do like the comfy you know i do like the comfy uh hmm maybe not the comfy i mean if we set up tailwind we can outspeed most of these guys i think I like Taros here. Taros with uh, Raging Bull can do pretty good damage. And then Close Combat as well. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit, a lot of support here. A little bit, a lot of support. We have a, <laughs> we have a lot of support in this one with uh, both Comfy and Golda coming out here. But I think it should be fine. We just got to protect our, um, our Umbreon here. We got to protect our Umbreon 100%. Now, as, a, as for leads, I don't know. I don't know what they can lead. Como and... Save by. Okay, so it's just going to be screens and Clanger Soul here. Which... Sure. Stored power looks fantastic onto this thing. 
But let's just call my boost first and let's set up a simple beam. Because this should be a special Koma O set. Yep, the screens, that's fine. My camera lagged. Set up your screens, that's fine. They go for Clangor Soul. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Imagine Clangor Soul simple. Oof. Plus two and everything. That'd be disgusting. So they're plus two everything. They lose a third of their HP. We're going to simple beat Monster Umbreon. Give it the simple ability and go for... Calm Mind here. So plus two special attack, plus two special defense. We're outpacing this Como o like this, baby. And they weren't throw spray, right? No, they were not throw spray. So they're sitting at plus one everything. That means it's going to be clangering scales or like hyper voice or flamethrower, whatever the case may be. It's going to be a special set. So I really like where we're sitting here. Um, so I get rid of. Sableye first. Maybe not. Just throw stored power there and then vacuum wave into Umbreon. Why not? I mean, they might protect Como O and they're not protecting Como O, maybe. So Gold Duck gonna fly with a vacuum wave onto Umbreon, drastically boosting our Umbreon's special attack and attack. And all we gotta do here is survive this turn and we, we just delete Como O like that. We delete Como O like that, baby. Set up your reflect. Oh, go ahead. Sableye's not doing anything right now. They have a Drain Punch. Ooh, they're physical set. That's a physical set. So they're going back to full HP. I thought it was going to be a special set. But Thor Power is flying through, and we're deleting the combo. Oh, baby. Nice Clangor Soul, by the way. Nice Clangor Soul. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Um, This is going to be a free turn to swap into my... Comfy, I think. Ooh, Torkoal. The eruption looks really scary here. Eruption looks extremely scary. But Cloud Knight isn't active, right? I think it's just when... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just when we swap in the Cloud Knight activates. It's pretty weird. But I think protecting our on here is a safe bet. And let's just swap into Comfy here. Let's get Comfy out here. I want to go for that Floral Healing. Uh, give some HP back to my Umbreon. Because Umbreon sitting at 64, which is kind of low. Actually, it might be even lower. It's 62. So we should protect Umbreon. Keep it nice and safe from this turn. Uh, we can't be on court onto that protect anyway, so I, I don't mind it. Foul play is going to fly. Ooh, that's scary. That's scary. But it's dark on dark. But we are... Oh, body press. Fair enough. I think right now, all I go is for... Do I go Dark Pulse or do I just go Stored Power into the Torkoal? Get rid of it. Body Press is doing a lot of damage here. Let's go Stored Power. Stored Power Floor Healing. Let's go. Let's do it. This should allow us to survive. They're withdrawing that thing. Let's go. We targeted the right Pokemon right there. Who are you coming out with here? Gonna be the Venusaur. But Floor Healing's gonna fly out first. Gonna heal my Umbreon right back to almost full HP here. 62 to 163. Stored Power flying on to Torkoal. Bye bye Torkoal. Oh my goodness. We're dominating right now. We're just dominating right now. So now all we gotta do is protect, set up Tailwind, and then we swap into Cloud9 after after that turn, and then we're, we're, we win. We win. So let's just protect here. And let's go for Tailwind. Set up that Tailwind. Oh, let's go. Umbreon is putting in massive work right now. Oh my goodness. Um, I made a broken Umbreon set. This is just the most broken Umbreon set I've ever seen in my life. We're gonna protect here. 
stop any sleep powder from coming through because I really don't want sleep powder. Look at Sludge Bomb into Kunky. Which Kunky survives, baby. We get poisoned, though. We do get poisoned. But we do get off the Tailwind. That's going to allow us to outspeed, I believe. And they go Foul Play once again. So we got to be careful with the Foul Play. Foul Play, I don't know how much it's doing. We are plus four in attack. <laughs> so I could do quite a bit of damage here. But I'm just going to go... Damn. Damn, Terran have they? No. But I'm still just going to go store power into the Venusaur here. And top us the Gold Duck. Get that Cloud Nine activated. Screw over their um, Chlorophyll boost. Mean that should, they should not be able to outspeed us here. We have Tailwind up. We're going to be able to outspeed, doubling our speed. Little Quackers is coming in. Cloud Nine activated. The effects of weather gone. Umbreon down speeding, store power connecting, one hit KO again on the Venusaur. Umbreon is broken. How much is Foul Play actually doing? It's not doing anything. I was so scared the whole time. <laughs> we go Dark Pulse. We go into a liquidation. That should be GG's. Battle's going to be canceled. Umbreon putting the most absurd amount of work in this, in this battle. GG's. All right, we got a battle against Sky, and this is going to be our toughest, toughest, toughest matchup yet. You have a Dark type there, which is pretty, pretty scary, but nothing that can really hit. Oh, no, you have the close combat on Sneasler. And the body press on Core Ignite, probably. All right, fair enough. I mean, I do like Cloud9 Quackers here. Crackers can do really good to stop them setting up a Roar Veil. So if they would lead a low nine tails, they can't set up their Roar Veil thanks to my boy Crackers here. So that's going to be really, really nice here. To finish this game off, do we go Taros with Intimidate here? Could be pretty good. You have a couple physical attackers. Raging Bolt is really good onto the Alone nine tails as well. Do I go Comfy? Or do I go Rillaboom? Rillaboom? I do need some ground type moves for Sneasler and Gambit. So I might just go far jump, actually. We just got to make sure we make easy work of Alola Ninetales. Or we just save Steel Terror for Guard Jump and allow Guard Jump to sweep with Stomping Tantrum here. I think I like it. I think I like it. So no Tailwind for us. No, no, that stuff. They're going to be able to outspeed us, unfortunately. Maybe Comfy was... Stuff. It's tough, it's tough, it's tough. Maybe I should have just given um, Quackers Icy Wind over any other move. That way we can have speed control. I think that might have been worked really nicely. I don't know, we'll see. It's going to be Sneezer and Corvette though. So they're going to be going for coaching here, I think. Which, fair enough. Cloud9 activates. Nothing is happening though. Could be going CC. Do we think they go CC here? No, I think they're coaching. I think this is a coaching play if I've ever seen one. I think this is a coaching play. <laughs> we're, we're betting on, on it being coaching. If it's not coaching, close combat is going to fly and do a lot of damage. And it's going to activate weakness policy before we get simple on our little boy here. So, I mean, regardless, still, sword power should be able to do enough damage here where I'm not too worried. CC into Gold Duck. And Golduck tanks it. Golduck tanks it, baby. Are they whiter? We'll find out in a bit. But we're going to eat our Citrus Berry first. Golduck actually tanked that like a beast. <laughs> My boy Quackers. And we're outspeeding the Corbin Knight here. That's actually really important. So Simple Flies. They went for Simple Bulk Up. Now they're going to want to go for a CC into into the Umbreon, correct? Now they're going to want to go CC into Umbreon here. Do I protect? Protect the Gradation? I 
I think so. I think so. I think they got to double into my Umbreon here. They saw the Calm Mind Booster, saw the simple. They're like, no, nah, we don't want to deal with this. CC does fly into the Umbreon, baby. Huge protect right there. They might even double down with Body Press, to be honest. But Liquidation is going to fly out first. How much damage are we doing onto this Deezer? That's great damage. That's great damage. They do double the Umbreon. Huge protect right there. Huge protect. Absolutely huge protect. I would love, 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 love to get my vacuum wave ball first to activate weakness policy. But that means we'd have to take a close combat and a body press here, which I do not really appreciate. We're sitting at plus two special attack. I mean, hey, we're going to be going Dark Pulse into Corviknight anyway. So I think Terrasizing here just kind of makes sense. Going Dark Pulse here. And getting rid of the Steezler. I think that just makes sense. So we're going to Terrasize into the Psychic Typing. Resist both Fighting Type moves that should be flying into my Umbreon again. That was an absolutely huge protect right there. Now, I wish we were sitting at more boost, but this is going to have to do for now. Look at Dire Claw. I could have waited. I could have waited. Are they going Brave Bird into Umbreon? Really good call by them. They do. Wow. What a read from them. Wow. The Dark Pulse is going to fly into Overnight. Doing great damage. I'm going to eat up that Citrus Berry. Wow, what a play. What a play by them. Absolutely phenomenal play. I could have gotten away with it. And now we're sitting here where they're just going to outspeed us and just be able to get rid of us. How's about swapping into Taro suit to get Intimidate off? Could work. I think we gotta let our Umbreon go down here. We gotta let Umbreon go down. That's a little tough. I mean... The only thing that really happened there was that we wasted our terrestrialization. That's the only bad thing. Oh, mirror armor. But I have clear amulet, so it's not bad. EQ's gonna fly. That's not great. They're going Brave Bird. Wow, they did so much damage to my Taros there. Oh, no. Are they going Brave Bird here? Horrible swap. Absolutely horrible swap right there. Wow. And just like that, we're down two Pokemon. And just like that, we're down two Pokemon. From what was a really, really good start from us, ends up being now this. Wow. I just gotta hope Garchomp goes into the right one. <laughs> I just gotta hope Garchomp goes into the right one here. Come on, Garchomp, do it for me. Garchomp goes into the right one, baby. Bye bye, Garchomp, for them. Let's go. That's huge. You're gonna take some Ruskin damage. And we're gonna copy this guy's plus one attack and defense. Still taking quite a bit of damage, though. Ugh, they have nine tails. Oh, I needed my terrestrialization. I really just threw the game. If I would have saved Terra for this exact moment, stay into steel type, going to steel typing, land the outrage on Coronite, which still wouldn't do as much damage. I don't know. I think. 
I mean, the swap into, um... Yeah, they're outspeeding. They go Blizzard. Oh, Cloud9. But we go into Ninetales no matter what. Awesome. <laughs> we got the luck, but we failed. Give a roost. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If they double miss again, I wish I could swap moves right here. They're only shot. That's only shot. We're, we're, it's close. We, we can we can win here. Oh, they have free strike. They have free strike. Never mind. They have free strike. They're going to get rid of the guard chomp. Cloud9 from the <laughs> Gold Duck actually came in clutch here because that allowed um, Blizzard not to be 100% accurate. And Gold Duck is going to get rid of Ninetales, making it a 1v1. Not far off of a game as I thought it would be. But unfortunately, we are going to be taking the L in this one. Bravebird is going to fly through. Golduck actually did really, really well in this one. I think we screwed up with wasting our terrestrialization into the uh, Umbreon. And at the same time, that swap into our Taurus was just completely dumb. But hey, GG's. All right, we got a battle against Lawrence. And if I hopefully win this game, this is going to be it because... We're 2-2. Two two. That last game, we should have 100% won. We should have 100% won. But the BS is just too powerful for us, I guess. Um, we're going to leave these two here. Uh, do I like... I got I to gotta pick right. I got to pick right here. They do have Intimidate on the Salamence, probably. So I think like this. Yeah. Yeah, we're locking this in. Let's go. Come on. Let's finish off 3-2 and two with this team. Show a dominant performance with this team. And just cook. Because this team is actually really good. Don't get me wrong. It's actually really good. We just did some dumb plays in that third game. And then the fourth game is just... No. Just no. Electabuzz and Sneasler. Okay, very easy. They can go for follow me here. I think we survived a close combat here, right? I think we can survive a close combat here. Did they just fake out my inner focus Pokemon here? <laughs> Did they just fake out my inner focus Pokemon? I mean, they might not know it was inner focus. So Simple B is going to fly. We are going to indeed get our Simple now and get plus two from special attack and special defense from that Calm Mind. Let's go, baby. Really nice turn right there. Really nice turn. Now, they could be going CC here. Could definitely be going CC. Um, I, so I just want to Terra here. I think we just go on the offensive here. To Rastice into Psychic, go Stored Power. And Liquidation. The only thing is that we can't activate Weakness Policy. Screw it, let's do it. Because a CC should be flying out here. A CC should be flying into my Umbreon slot right now. Especially seeing that plus two from special uh, from the Calm Mind. So it was either Protect or we Terrasize to resist the close combat and go from there. Yeah. Oh, did I freeze? No, I fr I'm, I'm good. The camera just was dumb. But there's a CC. Helping hand CC. Now resisted thanks to our Psychic Typing. Defense is going to drop. They're probably Focus Sash. So Liquidation is going to come out first to great damage on its own. <laughs> and Stored Power is going to get rid of this Sneezer here. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Let's go, baby. That alone is doing 100 base damage, so that's not bad. Plus the uh, stab, a uh, Terra Stab, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, I think now I want to protect and get out my... 
They sell it. Sorry. Intimidate's not gonna matter. Hold up. Does stored power... I'm not sure. Does stored power... get affected by your stat drops as well? Like, do they, does it calculate stat boost and stat drops? And, like, even it out? I damn hope not. <laughs> I damn hope not. Oh, what are you going for here, bro? Dragon Pulse, okay. It's fine with me. Uh, but no, it says, uh, it's just 20 times number of increases. So I don't think... It has to do anything with any, like, stat drop. So I think I'm pretty safe here to just go for... I'm gonna go for a Calm Mind. And go for Floor Healing here. Heal up this Umbreon back to almost full HP. Go for one more Calm Mind. Get four more stat boost. Allow Stored Power to do insane damage and go from there. Yep. Back to full HP. They go for the follow me. It don't matter, baby. Let's go. Dragon Bolt's gonna fly. We're plus two special defense, baby. That's doing no type of damage. Another Calm Mind's gonna rip. My Umbreon is ready to just dominate this team right now. So, you see, the, the variety in this team is you can go so many different ways, so many different directions with this team. I didn't, I didn't get the weakness policy activated yet, and we're already sitting at plus eight on uh, stat boost. I mean, store power, it should be able to do a lot of damage here. Um, set up a tailwind. I want to get some speed advantage. Come on, that is going to be canceled. Are you kidding me? You can't let me see my Umbreon do damage. GG's. We got a battle against Paradox here, and they have Rain. They have the Kill Watcher, who can probably land some Thunders here. Pretty scary stuff. Um... I do just like this though. I could just Terra Grass on my Quackers if they lead the um, Kilowattro. Could be pretty good. Comfy looks like a good Pokemon to come in with here. The super effective with Journey Kiss onto three of these guys, which is really, really good. And then just maybe close this game off with Taros. Or Garchomp. Maybe Garchomp, right? Yeah, we'll go Garchomp. All right, let's see. Try to get another dub with this team. I mean, they forfeited the last game. They didn't even let my Umbreon go crazy. So let's see if Umbreon can actually do some damage here and get some KOs. Because they're not letting it happen. <laughs> Alright, Polytoad and Kilowattro. It's fine. That's perfectly fine. Cloud9 is going to get rid of their weather effect, so... Thunder and Hurricane is not 100% accurate, but I still am going to Terrasize just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side. And they're going to Terrasize as well. Okay. And getting this plus 2 with special defense is going to be really, really huge for us as... Oh my goodness. It's going to be really important for us as um, these are two special attackers here. And we're going to Terrasize as well. Hopefully, they're just going for Thunder into... Thunder or Thunderbolt into the Golduck here. Golduck should be able to survive. We get Simple Beam off, and we get uh, back in wave the following turn, and allow my Umbreon just to go absolutely crazy here. They're going Discharge. They're going Discharge. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. I, I don't mind it. Just don't get a para on my Golduck. Doesn't do too much damage. Nice. Simple B comes off onto our Umbreon. We're going to get Simple and plus two from the special attack and special defense. So now my Umbreon is just set. My Umbreon is just set. We can tank so many shots right now and go absolutely crazy right now. I could even be inclined to go for another Calm Mind here. But no, I'm just gonna go stored power into the Politoed and go for a little vacuum wave into Umbreon. Look to get rid of the Politoed. Politoed can be a pretty annoying Pokemon here. So vacuum wave, gonna fly into the Umbreon. Activate weakness policy, drastically raise our special attack and our attack by four. Four, baby. And now we're sitting great. We're sitting great. 
They do go for the hurricane. They do land it. I was going to say bye-bye to Gold Duck. Perfectly fine with me. Gold Duck did what it needed to do. They got rid of the Gold Duck. Now we can come into Comfy, heal up our Umbreon, and make it unstoppable. I think that's it. I think it's done. I think it's GG's. Ice Beam, go ahead. No damage. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. They get the freeze. Nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. They really got the freeze with Ice Beam. The 10% chance. Or 30, whatever it is. Bormion's gonna go back to full HP. They're gonna hurricane my Comfy. Do great damage. And double into it. Comfy survives. Umbreon's still frozen solid. Guys, we might lose. We might lose. After getting so perfectly set up, we're actually gonna lose here. So they got they landed a 70% accurate hurricane because I had Cloud9 activated. On top of that, they got a freeze on my Umbreon. And their whole rest of the team is physical. I'm gonna break this guy's focus sash. Break his focus sash. Come on, Umbreon. Just thaw out, please. Hurricane's gonna fly. It's gonna get rid of my comfy. Please thaw out. Please, I'm begging you. They have haze. Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. And we're still frozen solid. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. You've got to be kidding me, bro. You've got to be kidding me. There is no shot. And outrage goes into the protect. Oh, you're so stupid. You're so stupid. And we're still frozen solid? How many turns is this? What am I playing here? Dude, what is this RNG here? What is this RNG? Frozen solid for four turns, bro. Four turns. Battle against Paquette, and I, I just don't know what to say after that last game. I, I just don't know what to say. Um, they have three ghost types that we can resist pretty well. Let me go damage at the end. Charles and Garchomp. Both of them can do really, really well. I could also bring in Comfy somewhere. Maybe bring Comfy over the Garchomp. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Like, five turns, frozen solid. Ice Beam is what? 10% chance of freezing? 10% chance of freezing with Ice Beam? 
10% chance. 10% chance. And they got the freeze for five turns. And Gargle Dangle. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Gonna terrorize lives right away. Someone could have focus blast here. <laughs> if they have focus blast, sh sure. So be it. Steel terror. They're going for a big old make it rain. Big old make it rain. We both should survive it. Just go icy one. That's fine. We were we, we were never outspeeding no matter what. Right to beam. I see wind and make it rain. We should both survive this ideally. Yeah, no problem. Wait, why did I take so much damage? Why did Umbreon take so much damage here? This is a little weird. Could this thing be choiced? Do I kind of... Do I maybe just protect and come in with... Comfy here? Or do I just let my Golduck die out here? And break focus session on Gengar. And not activate weakness policy? That could be a shout. Let's see what happens here. Does Gengar learn Haze? I have a stinky feeling that Gengar learns Ace. Let's go for another Icy Wind. Gengar does learn Haze. Does it have it? It's a different story. I don't know. Let's go for another Mickey Rain. So they're now sitting at minus two. Liquidation Flies does 50% to Gengar. Do I go for the weakest policy activation here? What are the chances to survive a... Minus two. I think if... I think we survive here, right? I don't know, we're too low HP, I think. I don't know, you give it a shot. You give it a shot, why not? You're staying in, Vacuum Wave's gonna do 10 to our Umbreon. They're minus 2, we're plus 2 in special defense. It's a hot chance we survive. Hopefully they go after Golduck here or something. Let's go another Icy win. how much is it doing? Doing 11. And how much is Make Your Rain doing here? Come on, Umbreon, hang on. Go, go, the die out, please. That's insane. We survived. Dark Bull lands the Goldango, picks up the one hit KO. Oh, baby. <laughs> what a play right there. But we need Golduck to die out now. We need Golduck to go. Bye bye. Nine tails. We obviously protect here. Do I force a swap on Golduck or do I hope they get rid of me? I think they're going to get rid of me, right? I think they have to get rid of me. They can't go for Roar Bell. Cloud9 is in, in action right now, I think. I think. I think it is. I don't know. I need Golduck to go down here. And I don't want to swap into Comfy, take some damage. I'd rather let them take out my gold, my gold duck here. I see one, okay. Just land on my gold duck, please. Let's go. That should be bye bye gold duck. Lovely, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Is that like Choice Scarf? Um, Gengar? Might be. And we're going to block the Blizzard. All right, lovely. All right, that's actually really, really good. That's actually really, really good for us. Because now all we got to do is come to Comfy, go for the floor healing onto our Umbreon. 
Get it back to 50%, which will allow it to survive for another another shot here. We could even further boost ourselves. But I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna go store parents and nine tails and floral healing our Umbreon. And we should be sitting in a really good position here. Really, really good position, I think. Okay, another Calm Mind boost could be very beneficial as there's two special attackers here, but I don't think it's necessary. I, I just don't think it's necessary. Umbreon surviving on five though from that Maker Rain was absolutely huge. It survived the Vacuum Wave, an Icy Wind, and a Maker Rain, which is insane. So Floral Healing comes out here, and all that with being only at 60 HP. Puts us at 106, Icy Wind's gonna fly through. Doing 10 to Umbreon, that's fine. Our speed is like literally zero right now. And Blizzard's gonna fly. Umbreon soaks, no problem. Storm power onto the Ninetales. Bye bye, Ninetales. Let's go, baby. Play this last game perfectly. Wow, what what a what game. This team honestly is fantastic. I think it's really, really foolproof. The only issue is that we are so incredibly unlucky. I have not seen worse luck than I have seen today. Like, that is just insane. But Golduck, though, Golduck was the man. Golduck was able to hang on into a lot of these situations and do a lot of damage as well. So I'm, I'm really proud of my Golduck. I'm proud of Quackers. We go floor healing again. They're going to go for another IT win. It's going to do another 10 damage onto my Umbreon. Get a crit on Comfy. That's fine. Her speed is at zero, bro. <laughs> Her speed is at zero. Dragon Claw is not going to KO my Umbreon. They get a crit, though. But Storm Power is going to fight through us the Garchomp. Pick up the one hit KO. Bye bye, Garchomp. Let's go, baby. And now it's a 3v1. All we got to do is click Storm Power into the Poison type Gengar. And that's going to be GG's, baby. And they're not canceling battle. Thank you. I appreciate you. Umbreon picking up the full sweep in this team in the last match of the day. Icy Wind's going to fly. <laughs> Can Umbreon's speed go any lower? Not anymore. Sword Power flies through. Bye bye, Gengar. Umbreon picking up the sweep in the last match of the video today. Wow. Umbreon and Quackers, baby. GG's. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our simple Stored Power Umbreon team and our Simple Beam Golduck team is complete. And wow, what a duo. What a duo between Umbreon and Golduck. Really, really good stuff. I mean, going for that Simple Beam onto Umbreon and boost and letting it allow to get that uh, double boost into every single stat change it has. Allowing Stored Power to be an insane amount of damage right here. Base 260 when we got our strat off is absolutely insane. Umbreon was able to do fantastic damage. Comfy with the floor healing, allowing Umbreon to survive here for even longer. But we did get very, very unlucky in today's matches. There are a lot of games where I feel like we should have won, but we just got just so incredibly unlucky where, I mean, freezed for five turns is absolutely insane. But regardless of that, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.